So far in 2019, our mid handicap tester has had a few new golf clubs. Yeah. But there's one been. that you won't stop talking about. Let's do it. And let's do it now. So guys, as always, it's imperative to me that you're a part of my videos and you feel like you're a part of my videos. So as always, I want you to hit those comments below. In today's video, I want you to comment below what putter are you using and why? Why are you using it? Were you fitted for it? Did you just like it? Were you given it? Let me know. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your very first time watching my content, first of all, welcome to the channel. Second of all, this is Mark, our mid-handicap tester, although he needs no introduction. How are you doing, no, Mark? No, I'm doing very well, thanks, James. Very good. We've just filmed the what's in the bag, or have we just filmed the what's in the bag? Because this video is going out first. Guys, if you are new here, please make sure you do hit that subscribe button below. Also, take a second to ring that notification bell, because then you won't miss any of the great golf-related content that we bring to you every single day. Now I can take a breath, guys. Make sure you do hit that like button below, because that lets us know that you're enjoying the content. And in today's video... We're talking what I think could potentially, could it be your favourite club near enough? Yeah, it probably is. Yeah, favourite club moment, in yeah. the bag? Yeah, certainly. And it's probably the newest edition as well? Yes, definitely. So, it without is. any further ado, we're going to talk through the specs, we're going to talk through how it came about, but we're also going to play some putts. So, Mark, we've spoken about how it's potentially one of the favourite clubs in the bag. Yeah. Where did, I mean, I know, I know, so I, mean, I can answer this as well, but where did this putter derive from? Because we went for a fitting, didn't we? We went for a fitting, yes. Uh, the blade putter that I had at the time I was doing quite well with I was I was sort of having a 1.8 1.9 average with it so it was for, it was, for a mid handicap it was pretty good yeah um, but then in the fitting it turns out that it's completely the wrong putter for me yeah um, I was I wasn't able to line it up accurately mm -hmm. I was I was always slightly aiming slightly left yeah and then pushing I, it on the target set, set up and then when i swung through i was pushing away because it was always slightly left so mm -hmm. it was you know, i wasn't hitting it properly so i needed more alignment um and and with a with a face hang because i had quite a strong arc yes which i'd never thought i had an arc i always thought i was fairly straight mm -hmm. which you never realize this looking down on the ball no I'm and sure. it is amazing how people sort of guess what kind of stroke they have until you go for a fitting yes, and then yeah, work out what, right. what kind of stroke you have actually got. So in regards to alignment, let's throw a ball down here and do said alignment. Do you find that, I mean, before we go any further, obviously it is an Odyssey Toulon Stroke Lab Atlanta. This is the Atlanta, yeah. So it's what Sergio's been using, just yes, with a different yep, kind of colour scheme. Yep. Whilst it's a mid mallet, and, and I've never really liked like mid mallets, the, the, the look of them just wasn't right, but this particular one, to me anyway, looks looks much more blade-like yes. with, with an extension on the back to give you that alignment yeah. side of things. So so it's, it seems to have worked quite nicely for me. The, the strong white line down the centre there, yeah. um, and, and this gap here, of course, is, is, is one ball width as well. And that helps the alignment. So that, that helps you with getting the ball centre centre yeah. to the club face, and the line through takes you, takes you through on the line that you want to try and putt Okay, on. so to line one up here for us. And I suppose essentially with the, the width of the ball in the middle, you you almost have three lines, don't you, on the back of it instead of the one? Yes, yeah, yeah exactly. So, so that's actually exactly. the line yeah, as well. That's right. An interesting enough, I tested this putter before Mark did, obviously because if I'd have really gone with it, it might not have found its way <laughs> into Mark's bag, but I just found it a little bit too small, so I found the head, I don't know how, I mean, I don't, don't mean to put you off by any stretch, but I found the head maybe a little bit small, so on miss hits, mm. it didn't fill me with confidence, but then right. I think you've always been quite a confident putter, haven't you? I've always, yeah, I've always hit the ball fairly well, it's just the, the distance has yes. is, is been the problem, but I've always confidently struck the ball. Yeah. So, yeah, that alignment looks really strong, so, actually. So you kind of get the ball smack bang in the middle and, and the, the white line through to through on the line and the ball on the line that I want to try and set it off on. Yeah. Line, 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 line. Yeah. <laughs> so Matt, we've set up a little bit of a challenge here regards to distance control and a few different variations of lines as well. The greens have had a little bit of work done to them, but they're still rolling pretty good for the time of year. Yeah. yeah. So stroke lab. Stroke lab. Does it work? Yes. Is it something? Is it anything? Well, I have to say, I quite like it. Yeah. Um, in, in, in all of the various um, Odyssey putters, yeah. with, 
the one with the stroke blab shafts in does seem to work for me I, I get a bit more feel and control from mm -hmm. the head um, and and the, the handle when when playing through on the shot it seems yeah. to be seems to work for me like if you it. match that with the thicker grip that we've got on there obviously yeah. it's a lovely looking yeah, grip just, it matches the, the whole Odyssey putter one. but yeah. you see the stroke lab for me and you might agree with me you might disagree but the stroke lab for me i like it whenever i test it i like it but i can't tell you why is that something that you'd it feels good it feels better it feels like i don't have to stroke the putter as long but obviously i can tell you scientifically why because they take weight out the middle put it in the head to put it in the end and that obviously somehow magically yeah. well i think that affects the balance doesn't it yeah. it's, it's the balance of the swing that it, it, it impacts on and this is your works. area actually isn't it <laughs> think about it <laughs> yeah i suppose i suppose yeah um so so yeah i think just just not having that weight in the middle there just just gives you gives you more of a smooth swing and the key word i suppose it. is feeling yeah i think i say yeah. it feels better yes. so if something feels better even if it purely it. just makes you com more confident yeah then yeah. that's obviously going to be better isn't it that's right right exactly. Should we start nearest one? So then yeah, it's the probably best, isn't it? <laughs> so for every put mark, I want you to talk me through something that you like about it. And then when we get right down to the end, down there, I want you to tell me one thing you'd change about it, one thing you maybe don't like about it. Okay. Well, that one down there, as you know, it's a, there's quite a big slope. It's a tough green, this. It's a Mackenzie green, yeah. real double tier there. And there's quite a big slope on the side here coming across. So, so that's going to be a difficult one. <laughs> that's why I thought I'd leave the negative to the last. <laughs> Can I tell you one thing I like about it before we even start? Just hold it up, because this is this is unlike any putter I've ever seen. That you can't it's physically impossible to take a bad picture, a bad video, a bad anything of that milling because it just looks it looks great, doesn't it? Absolutely it looks really beautiful, nice. yeah. Yeah. And that's the one thing which I I mean I tried that putter for a while and to be honest, I really yeah. wanted it to work purely for that reason because the milling looks so good so what's your positive on this put mark over about the putter positive on this is is the ease the ease of actually lining it up the ball it's easy to put the ball smack bang in the center um, and the line on the ball follow through to the line that's on the club so so i'm co i'm confident that i've got this that the face set up yeah flush for the line i want to try and hit it up. oh stop it mark <laughs> so earlier on you mentioned about your putting stroke average with your old putter have you done anything have you che get checked any numbers on this one since you changed um i've not done any detailed yeah detailed analysis on that front but i do know that from the rounds the last the last five rounds of golf i've played i've had three 31s a 32 and a 34. that is so just remind everyone of your handicap mark 14. Those numbers are very, very impressive, aren't they? So, so yeah. I mean, I'd like to get it better. Yes. But, but the fact that I'm, I'm in that sort of low thirties. I'm not over thirty-six at all. No. And and indeed, the thirty-four had three three putts in it. Wow. So to put that in perspective, and you don't know, I'm going to tell you this because this is all this conversation is live, sort of live. Yeah. So my brother plays off one <laughs> he's plays off one i think he got down to scratch but he's gone back up to one and he's done he did very he did very well he did very well how many putts do you reckon he had on saturday i know because he texts me about it this is a scratch handicap as opposed to a mid handicap well i he shouldn't have had more than 28 29? 34 putts really and he shot i think he made buffer zone he shot about three over so that just goes right. to show that yeah. i'm not saying it's the putter that's doing it for you but no, something but, uh, within your putter yes. it might be the, yeah. the lesson with chris actually yeah, it might well have been. We'll link well that been. below as well. So, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm, it's definitely better than it was. Yeah. This goes in and I'm asking questions. <laughs> oh, what a shot. Okay, so next positive mark on this one. I think it's the clean. It's the clean touch when the face when the face hits strikes the ball. Yeah. It's a clean strike. It's not a. It's not a sharp, hard. So the, the feel touch, sound. But it, it, yeah, there's a sort of yeah, the the, the touch that comes, mm -hmm. the feel that comes back from it. Because did you know? Because did you know that feel is sound? Feel is sound. It is. It's vibration, isn't it? Feel is sound. So if say if, if you <laughs> put it now and I put earplugs in you, mm -hmm. I mean I'd, I'd give them you to put in. I wouldn't put them in you. But you wouldn't tell a difference between that putter or a broom handle or a rake or anything because the, the feel will go because it's a sound. 
Well, that's an interesting challenge, isn't it? I shall have to look into that. <laughs> Again. Short, late on in the day. Come on, Mark. Final putt. Final putt. And rather than all these positives and blowing smoke up Mr. Toulon's backside, yeah. what would you change? Because nothing's perfect, is it? Nothing's perfect, no. Um, Apart from the 1999 Man United side, they were perfect. No, they weren't. <laughs> God. <laughs> um, what, other than perhaps the price? Yeah, the making, knocking... it making it cheaper would be helpful. How much are they? Three hundred and fifty. Yeah, they? three four nine. Something like that. Um, I think. The, the, well, the one thing I would do is is is, is just darken the the edges. Mm -hmm. There, put a put a darker colour. Yeah. Um, just to just to make it stand out a bit more. I mean, if not a white line. Yeah. Um, I love that I know neck as well. Every time I look at it, needed, I see something but... else that I just love, and that neck looks absolutely beautiful. And the orange Odyssey sign. That... I need to stop looking at that. <laughs> yeah, you stop looking at it. You stop looking at it. So, on. price and maybe make it a little bit more different it's a looking. Bit, a bit more pronounced. Yeah, pre great word, pronounced. Excellent. Right, Mark, let's spoil the party and get this one in. Nice effort, just a little bit short again online that time though. I'm fairly happy with those. I know they're short, but it's uh, it's a wet green, it's cold. They'd have, it's been, for e have been for Eagle as well, wouldn't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, thank you very much for watching that. We do hope you've enjoyed it. I've been wanting to do that video for, for a long time, but I'm quite glad it took us this long to do it so that you could give me the feedback you've, yeah. you've, you've given yes. on it. So yeah. thank you very much for watching. We do hope you've enjoyed it. That is, I, I, I've got to say, maybe your favorite club mm -hmm. in the bag near yeah. enough. Yeah, and, and the positive thing, I mean, all right, they're short, but they're well within my confident range of trying to get it. Oh, easy. <laughs> so if they were for eagle, that's two birdies. Yeah. So guys, thank you very much for watching. We do what you've enjoyed. If you have, make sure you do hit that subscribe button below. Leave us a like if you enjoyed that content and make sure you ring the notification bell as well. That got yes. me this week. I didn't yeah. know you had to do that. So make sure you ring the bell and then you won't miss any of the great golf related content we bring you. Definitely. Make sure you check out Mark's update of the what's in the bag because there's some pretty cool stuff going on yeah. in there. Yeah. And apart from that, guys, as always, I guess we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.